The next major smartphone is upon us and it's always turned the P40 Pro has more curves more power and in true highway fashion is all about further advancing mobile photography but is it your gadget batch but these are different times that we live in and instead the Hawaii P40 but before we begin with our unboxing delivering an unannounced smartphone as you can see it's so important that it's sealed really really well let's get on with our unboxing let's start the Hawaii P40 Pro comes in this white box this is the the retail packaging by the way over here it says co engineered with Leica. at least the cameras are in here at the bottom always answer to the google play store market lastly there's a usb-c cable and wired headphones a smr fans this one's for you oh why this color is so beautiful i believe it's officially called deep sea blue depending on how it's hit by the light you get shades of glossy royal blue to navy i love it for biometric security the p40 pro has an in display fingerprint scanner as well as facial recognition that should work fast even in challenging lighting conditions new navigation gestures let's try swipe inward from the left edge to go back nice you can also do it from the right swipe up from the bottom to return to the home screen and swipe up and hold to view recent tasks interface looks like more so now than in previous iterations Amu feels closer to stock Android except that it's missing in after hour now this doesn't come bundled with the unit despite lacking Google's apps and search service is out of the box the Huawei P40 Pro features all kinds of flagship goodies like 5x periscope optical zoom lens 5G support and 40 watt fast charging both wired and wireless under the hood the phone is powered by Huawei's own Kirin 990 chip and a battery cell as big as 4200 mAh at the front is situated a 6.58 inch OLED display with a 90hz refresh rate an in-screen fingerprint sensor and a dual selfie camera the back is adorned by a quad camera set up with an all new 50 megapixel red main sensor the Huawei P40 Pro will be available across Europe from April 7, 2020. Now that we have service we can get on with the rest of the video this is the Huawei P40 Pro like many other recent flagships of late its lineage is written all over its face I mean its body from its size rounded back side 5 8 and if you ask me I think the P40 Pro is just the right size Polly says the in display fingerprint scanner has a 30% larger surface area for you to place your finger faster unlock times are also promised but both of these phones have fast unlock times and I really didn't notice the difference the new and locking animations are pretty cool though and if it's not your cup of tea there's face and look also that utilizes the dual selfie cameras on the device from a large notch on the P22 a tear drop notch on the P30 a punch hole makes room for these selfie cameras on the P40 and only on the pro model and a sensor for fast and secure face and lock even in low light scenarios as with every update the claim P40 builds on its already excellent camera depending on there's no denying this phone belongs to the Huawei P series the color options are a bit muted this year in stark contrast to the colorful gradients that Huawei popularized this year the pickings are a bit more classic ice white black and my obvious choice deep sea blue it also comes in two matte finishes that are more resistant to fingerprints silver frost and blush gold but now that I see the P20 P30 and P40 lying side by side it's pretty clear that the last few years have been less about color and design but more of an evolution in mobile photography with each update the Camry module gets bigger and bigger this year it's doubled in size and promised we'll talk about what all of this means later on but first let's flip the phone around while some brands are abandoning curved displays while we is taking them even further this year keeping its curved sides and adding curves to its top and bottom also the company says this was inspired by surface tension you know when a cup is just about to overflow with water but hold its shape in the short period that I've used the device the squad curve display felt more aesthetic than functional this full HD plus OLED display sports a 90Hz refresh rate with buttery smooth transitions and animations this year there are 3 P40 flavors P40 P40 Pro and a decked out P40 Pro plus screen sizes differ slightly the screen on the P40 is 6.1 inches while the P40 Pro and P40 Pro plus are 6.58 and if you ask me I think the P40 Pro is just the right size 
wallet. Which model you get you'll get either a triple a quad or a penta camera setup. All three phones have the same main camera hardware. The star of the show actually a 50 megapixel ultra vision wide angle camera that boasts of the largest image sensor seems to be powerful. The P40 Pro took excellent photos both during the day and at night even in very dark conditions and even without night mode turned on there are supposedly 8 focus points per pixel on the device that allows the phone to quickly latch on to subjects even if they're moving this shot for example of a plane came out great even if I rushed to take it so basically what happened is I saw one fly overhead I quickly grabbed the phone opened the camera app switched to 10x zoom and hit the shutter button so yeah the long range telephoto feature that Huawei introduced last year is still there a periscope system enables 5x optical zoom and 10x hybrid zoom and new on the P40 zoom lenses optical image stabilization which works together with eye stabilization to counter the shake you get when zooming into that far away here are more samples finally there's an ultra wide angle lens and here is what some sample photos look will give this camera a little bit more of a test in our review video so to make sure you don't miss that subscribe to our youtube channel and hit that bell icon to turn on notifications i photography has always been a big keyword on the p series and the p40 comes with their next gen i scene detection it can do things like remove moving subjects from the background of a photo and reduce reflections when you're taking pictures of something behind glass for example here's an example of the removed passerby feature now you can see chai walked behind me while the photo was being taken and so when you go in to edit the photo you can hit remove passerby and it will pick the best frame without her in the shot remove reflection on the other hand increases the contrast of an image to reduce the glare but it doesn't remove it completely there are two selfie cameras on the p40 plus instead of one supposedly for better selfie portraits here have a look and let me know what you think about these samples content creators might also like the fact that these selfie camera shoots in 4k and this is a sample shot during the day and this is what it looks like at night what do you think if you flip it over and use the assortment of rear cameras the p40 pro lets you shoot 4k videos at 60 frames per second you can also shoot time lapses in 4k using the ultra wide angle lens adding a is to the telephoto lens also kicks in when you're shooting video using the zoom lens and now you get the time stopping 7680 frames per second ultra slow mode video capture that we first saw on the mate 30 pro the p40 series is powered by highways care 995g processor which among all its speed improvements is a promised 460 percent improvement in terms of neural processing as can be expected games like PUBG ask for 9 and Call of Duty run fine on the device and without a hiccup more on how you can get these apps in a bit but first let's talk about specs Huawei has yet to send me a complete spec sheet but my P40 Pro review device comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage out of the box both the P40 and P40 Pro have 4200 mAh batteries in my time with the phone I got a solid day and a half of average used about 7 hours of screen on time before it conked. Out charging was super fast, it ships with a 40 watt supercharger that got me to 68% after a 30 minute charge and an hour and 10 minutes to get to 800 what's more impressive is that the P40 Pro supports 40 watt wireless charging as long as you get Huawei's optional supercharged 40 watt wireless charger are the macro shots versus the ultra wide I actually had the same question and it looks like the ultra wide angle camera doesn't act as a macro lens anymore here's a shot I took using the P30 Pro when I use the P40 Pro I couldn't focus as close using its ultra wide angle lens so I moved back and used the 5x zoom lens and got this photo instead how much better is that camera versus the P30 Pro I haven't had a lot of time comparing these two phones but here are my initial findings I'm finding that the P40 is better at things like HDR as can be seen in this example and when there's a tiny bit of light to work with it also does a better job in low light although the p30 pro seems to let more light in when shooting in total darkness adding os to the telephoto lens helps a lot and theoretically once that software is rolled out those new eye features are pretty dope to bug us from indonesia asks what about the os is it still android good question the p40 pro runs a mu 10.1 built on the open source version of android 10 everything's there except for google play services which brings me to the question how does it 
compare without standard Google Apps Huawei's app gallery is slowly coming along with apps like Telegram Microsoft Office Snapcat all being officially offered also from within the app gallery there's now a link to download Facebook all good signs that the rest are coming soon there are other ways to get your favorite apps onto the phone one of them is called phone clone which lets you restore from an old device your old apps will come to I personally just used app pure and have used it to get my favorite apps including Instagram Disney Plus and Spotify on my P40 Pro and yep at Mirza that includes Netflix too so is the Huawei P40 Pro your gadget match I'm going to need more time with the phone to be able to give you my full thoughts but price is going to play a very important part on whether or not I'm going to be able to give it a glowing recommendation but in terms of hardware the P40 Pro is one heck of an Android phone here is the hoping the software challenges get sorted out soon thankfully the updates look promising you'll notice in this video I didn't really talk much about the P40 Pro Plus because I don't have a demo unit good job from Huawei and I will talk more on P40 Pro Plus on my next video but before then I want to know your comment below and please subscribe for new update thanks for watching and see you on my next video.